one dead in Appleton, SWAT response, free tax prep available through Lakeland and LTC, changes considered to gu gun deer season. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Pfister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, January 23rd, 2020. Roadwork is making a detour necessary for drivers on Sheboygan's north side. Jordan Suka of the city's engineering department tells us that the North 9th Street will be closed between Bluff and Lincoln Avenues from today through next Wednesday, January 29th for utility work. Detours around the one block stretch will use 8th Street for northbound and 10th Street for southbound traffic. When the Ryder Cup golf term tournament comes to Whistling Straits September 25th through the 27th, some 50,000 people from all 50 states and 120 countries are expected to descend on the course each day. Managing a crowd that size requires hundreds of people, including, including law enforcement, but that's the issue here. The reason, according to the Sheboygan Police Chief Christopher Domigalski, the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department does not have enough employers to cover the job and has requested assistance. Providing that assistance requires official action and a resolution authorizing the chief to enter into a mutual assistant agreement was passed by the city's licensing, hearing, and public safety committee this past Monday. That resolution now goes to the Common Council for approval. The Ryder Cup, the most lucrative golf tournament in the world, is expected to pump some $135 million into the regional economy. The Natural Resources Board is proposing some radical changes to the deer hunt in the future. The move comes in response to the 2019 gun deer season when hunters killed dramatically fewer deer than in years past. The total number of deer harvested last year was down 19%. One major proposal on the table is extending the gun season by another 10 days in order to help prop up harvest numbers. Other possible changes include stopping hunting for several days before the gun season, as well as limiting the crossbow season. One person is dead after a police attempted to take a suspect into custody in Appleton at about 7.30 Tuesday evening. Captain Laura Vandola Messer of the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office reports that the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office SWAT team was requested to assist the Lake Winnebago Area Metro Enforcement Group in apprehending a sus subject. That person was wanted for questioning regarding multiple crimes and had existing felony warrants. Within minutes of the SWAT team arriving in the 800th block of Grove Street, an officer-involved shooting occurred involving several members of the multi-jurisdictional Sheriff's Office SWAT team. The subject was killed and as required by state law, the incident will be investigated by the State Department of Justice. More information will be released later today. A car battery charger ended up being the suspicious package that got attention of Sheboygan police and the Milwaukee bomb squad on Tuesday morning. Police were called to the Social Security Administration building on the North 26th Street shortly before 10 o'clock a.m. They established a perimeter along the west side of the building and awaited the bomb squad's arrival. By 11.30 a.m., the all clear was given Sheboygan police say the package was a car battery charger inside of a black plastic trash bag. There was a note written inside, but it, is, it was not threatening. And finally, low to moderate income tax filers can get free help with their taxes thanks to a joint effort between Lakeland University and Lakeshore Technical College. 
and financial advisory firm Clifton Larson Allen through the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Students in each school, school's accounting program will provide help at LTC's Cleveland campus on Tuesdays from February 4th through March 31st, while Lakeland University will offer help from the Sheboygan Salvation Army at 710 Penn Avenue on Thursdays and Saturdays from February 1st through April 9th. Last year, the joint effort completed around 400 tax returns that helped local taxpayers collect close to $1 million in refunds. The service is offered to those earning less than $56,000 annually, and reservations are required. People interested in taking advantage of this free service must have an income under $56,000 a year. Applicants must bring a photo ID, social security cards for themselves, their spouse and dependents, W-2 forms, 1099 forms, rent certificate or 2019 property tax bill, and a copy of their 2018 tax return. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.